Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be sharing some tricks on how to apply reverb to a drum loop where you only want to apply reverb to uh, one part of the drum loop, like one element of the drum loop and not the entire thing. Uh, for instance, I made this loop on the Tempest drum machine by Dave Smith Instruments and I have a kick and a snare and some hats all in the same channel. Check it out. Basically, I was just being lazy and I recorded everything together just to kind of go with my flow, my creativity, and not waste any time separating the channels. And now I'm thinking that snare is a little bit too dry, which could be cool, but what if I wanted to make it more wet? So here's the trick. Uh, we're going to work on this uh, loop here. The first thing we're going to do is, well, we're going to send, we're going to apply stuff to a uh, aux track. And the first thing I'm going to put is a gate. Gate. Cool. So we have our gate there. And we're going to sidechain this gate to this track, which I called K. I don't know why I called it. I, I thought maybe that was going to be a kick drum and then and, and ended, up, ended up being a, a beat, a whole beat. Sidechain on right here. And audio from K, which is where my drum loop is. So cool. Then the next thing is we're going to select this EQ thing. And since, since that snare is like very high pitch, as you'll see when the snare happens right there, that's like a high frequency thing. So, I mean, it, it kind of takes some, a little bit of knowledge for you to know, like, well, I, I'm just going to kind of guess that this, by the way, I'm going to select a, select a high pass filter and everything that I, See here, the frequency thing? Everything that I, I'm kind of like eliminating all these frequencies, see? So I'm gonna eliminate everything up to, let's say like four kilohertz. And uh, yeah, that's good. And let's see. So you see the peaks here? How that, that peak, that's this the, that's the rim, the, the snare thingy, the rim shot, and it's triggering, triggering the, the gate. So now I'm gonna put a reverb after the gate and that reverb is only going to happen when the gate is opened well let's uh, maybe bring down the threshold oh and then we also have to send the track to this aux that's why I'm not hearing it it should happen now oh yeah so see, the reverb is not affecting the kick or the hi-hats, just that snare. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, that allows, you know, me to treat the, the snare individually. And if I wanted to do the opposite, let's say I wanted to, which I wouldn't do, but let's say I wanted to add reverb just to the kick, I would do the opposite. I would select a low-pass filter and then get rid of a bunch of uh, things here and then go like, see? But what I want is this. And then I can... Isn't that awesome? Anyway, I hope this was helpful, guys. Later.